When interpreting a NMR spectrum, you want to consider three things. Chemical shift, or where the peaks are located on the x-axis. Integration, or the height of the peaks. And splitting, which has to do with the number of peaks in one cluster. This video explains chemical shift in greater detail. For simplicity, we will only consider proton NMR spectra. So first thing to note about interpreting a NMR spectrum is that the x-axis is read from right to left, and the unit of the x-axis is parts per million. The chemical shift or location of a particular peak will depend on how close the proton is to electronegative elements. The further away the protons are to electronegative elements, the more to the right or upfield they will be. In the same way, the closer the proteins are to electronegative elements, the more to the left or downfield they will be. So the logical next question, if you are a chemistry newbie like me, is what the hell is an electronegative element? Well, it is actually quite straightforward. Simply ask yourself, where are the electrons? There are also tables for different elements that state their electronegativity and even their chemical shift outright. Link to the one I show here in the description. In the case of ethanol, it is fairly easy to note that the oxygen atom has four electrons in its outer shell, which are not a part of any bond. This makes it the strongest electronegative element, since all of the electrons on the outer shell of the other atoms are covalently bonded, creating less of an electronegative force. At this point you may ask yourself, why do we have multiple peaks in these two cases, and why is this peak so much taller than the others? Well, click here for the answer, since I explain NMR integration in the next video.